From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the last Campus Weather Service Wednesday morning forecast shift of the semester. And it's especially sentimental for me because this is my last Campus Weather Service forecast ever as I will be graduating at the end of the semester. How do you feel about this last forecasting shift, Mark Woods? Well, it's definitely bittersweet for me. It's been a very enjoyable semester, but at the same time, you know, looking forward to summer. So overall, definitely enjoy it, but brighter things in the future. Yeah, and it looks like uh, some warmer temperatures are beginning to move into the area. Um, we had a very nice day on Saturday for the blue and white game. Uh, another nice day on Sunday for outdoor activities. So, Tucker, what do you think about this warmer weather? You think we're going to see more of this going into the you future? You know what? I am, I am irate right now. My hair is cut off by this screen. <laughs> my hair is my fortune. This is, this is not okay. I, I need a flu shot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, wow. that, was, that was interesting. So, flu shots. Oh, he is very passionate, for sure. Yeah. So, what do you think about the warm weather? Because that wasn't very helpful. You know, I'm just excited to wear short shorts again. You know? Yeah. It's about time. Short shorts? Like how right. short? You going? Well, you know, you got to wear a five-inch seam, but, you know, way, clothes way up, go lower. Way up to the thighs? Way up to the thighs? Absolutely. I'm excited to actually have a spring, some milder temperatures, and not go right from 20 degrees and frigid temperatures to 85 and sweltering hot and humid. You know, it's nice to have a nice little balance right here. Temperatures in the 50s, 60s, it'll feel comfortable out, which is something that we really have not been able to say for a long time. Yeah. Okay, right now we're going to toss it over to our good friend, Vivian Rennie. Hi, guys. I'm really excited to be ending our shift. It's going to be really sad to not see you guys every morning, but I'm really excited for summer. Looking at your forecast outside right now, we're very heavily clouded right now. Looking from the top of Nittany Mountain, we're seeing all of those cloud, that entire cloud deck, 48 degrees right now. Winds coming from the north northeast at five miles an hour. Your temperatures across our state, we're seeing really these cooler temperatures out to the west and those warmest temperatures down in the southeast near Philadelphia at 55. Temperatures across the rest of our country, we're seeing massive variability with this coldest section all the way from Denver into International Falls. This is where we're going to be seeing the most snowpack up into my home state of Colorado. Next, we're going to be looking at those weather headlines with Jake Sorber. Thanks, Vivian. And yeah, as we saw in that webcam looking over Nittany Valley, it is unfortunately a soggy start to this morning. But those clouds and rain showers will be moving out of the area by tomorrow morning and we will see that sun pop out later on tomorrow. And unfortunately, it will be a rainy day on Friday for the music festival moving on. So if you're planning on going out to that, you will need maybe a raincoat or a light jacket or an umbrella. So looking at the current satellite and radar and what we're seeing in the State College area right now, we are seeing some misty showers working through the State College area with some heavier showers working up from the south. So we will be affected by those um, pretty soon here going into the next few hours and if we zoom out a little bit we can see uh, the entire system over a much wider view so we see a cold front working off the mid-atlantic coast with a discrete line of precipitation associated with that a little bit of a spin up in the precipitation right here on the lee side of the appalachian mountains in north carolina associated with some heavier rainfall um, that they're seeing right there in north western north carolina so let's look at the chance for some future precipitation here in the State College area. So if we go forward in time here, we see that later on uh, today at about 530, we're going to see some increased chances for some precipitation moving in to the State College area. But as we go throughout the evening tonight, we will see those showers begin to move out of the area. The clouds will begin to clear out towards tomorrow morning. And by tomorrow afternoon, we will be seeing some nice clear skies here in State College with a northwesterly wind. So for more on the temperatures and what we can expect for them, I'm gonna hand it off to my good friend and fellow meteorologist, Tucker Antico. Thank you, Jake. And uh, as we look at the future weather, as you can see, temperatures here today in the lower 50s, so not too bad. It's actually cooler than normal, but compared to what we've been used to, it's looking all right. Temperatures in Pittsburgh, 58 degrees, uh, down to my southeast here, 59 here in Philadelphia. So pretty mild uh, for, for the day. And as we get overnight, temperatures won't get too cold. Um, temperatures here at State College, at least, mid 40s, a little bit of the upper 30s here in Pittsburgh and Johnstown, uh, remaining very mild if you're here 
in the southeast, Philadelphia 55. Tomorrow, temperature is warming back up into the lower 50s, and actually, this is 1 p.m. as we get into the later afternoon, even around 60 degrees here in State College and areas in central Pennsylvania. This is that spring weather that we've been talking about, that the trend is beginning to take over. We're looking more at seasonal weather than cold weather. Overnight, once again, temperatures in the lower 40s for State College and much of the state. And tomorrow, as we get into Saturday, Markowitz uh, has your details. Thank you, Tucker. So today we'll expect a high around 60 degrees with scattered showers possible throughout the day today. But as we head into the overnight hours tonight, as he mentioned earlier, we can expect a low around 42 degrees with periods of rain potentially lingering, but otherwise mostly cloudy skies expected. But as we head into the day tomorrow, however, much nicer conditions expected with a high of 62 degrees and mostly sunny skies. So tomorrow, another great day to spend outside as it will finally begin to feel like spring. And now I'll toss it back to Tucker and Tico for the seven day. Thank you, Andrew. And as you can see, temperatures to finish the week in the 60s. That's the trend, uh, 60 degrees to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And as you get into the weekend, a continuing trend as well. Temperatures 60 on Saturday, upper 50s on Sunday. But moving into early next week, as you can see, Monday, temperatures are really digging into those spring weather feel. And Tuesday, temperatures well into the 70s. So a trend that's beginning and beginning to last here in State College as we dig deeper into the spring season. Now back to everyone there at the studio. You know, this is my last campus weather service forecast ever. You know, I'm just holding back tears right now. I'm going to miss you so much, Jake. I'm going to cry. We'll miss you here. Right, so it's going to be a hard road. We're all going to get through it, though. We'll get through it together. Honestly, it's going to be okay. You know what? We have a bright future ahead of us. We do. We do. We'll see each other again. It's okay. It's not okay, guys. From everybody here at the Wednesday morning shift, have a good rest of your day.